Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another. Ex I am frozen. Episode of. It's snowing. Well, it was snowing. There's a little bit of dusting of snow on the ground. Well, soon we'll get rid of winter. Yeah, I'm ready for winter to be gone. I'm watching this first season. My wife picked first, second, and third seasons up. From the library. From the library. And what is this? Uh, the Simpsons complete tenth season. Yeah, it's a small library, but it you know it's like they they know. And I gave him a book today that I accidentally ordered two of. <laughs> and it was not a cheap book. 1995 with the label price on it. And I have this. I just have to actually write this guy. This is the only person in New Hampshire on death row. And they just got rid of the death penalty in New Hampshire. But it's not retroactive, so it doesn't cover this guy. Well, I think it's because of what part of it was the crime he committed. Yeah, it was pretty nasty. So anyway, this is for Steve Irwin, or at least that's your profile name. You asked me life in the 90s. Well, I can tell you about life in the 90s. Our daughter asked us about life in the 60s. I'm like, um, we were only we were we were like toddlers and yeah and. Uh, I mean, we lived in the 60s. We do remember it, but... To me, in the 90s is when music went bad. Yeah. Like, oh, shit. Okay, so the 90s were actually pretty exciting for me. Um, good and bad and everything else, to be honest with you. I used to go rock climbing, um, mainly two locations. One was Enchanted Rock, which is north of Fredericksburg, Texas. And the other place was S.A. Rock or San Antonio Rock Gym, now closed. It's been closed a long, long time. Now, there was a place on 1604, I think like I-10 and 1604 maybe. It was Petro's, Petro's? I don't remember, but I never went there. Um, like back the story. <laughs> backpacking uh, in Canada and Texas, um, uh, Big Bend, Enchanted Rock, Lost Maples, West Coast Trail in Canada. Um, <laughs> there was this. Uh, there was this girl who. Um, I can't stand people like this, but she was a closet lesbian, but if she wasn't, it was like, it was, all she had to do was say she was a lesbian, but you would have thought it if you would have met her. Is that obvious? Yeah, yeah, and oh boy, did she do a number on me. But, um, well, she, we were essentially dating, but, you know, we didn't do anything because she wouldn't do anything with a guy. But there was this mutual friend of ours named Sandy. And I could tell she was hot for her. She had the hots for Sandy. But Sandy was this good, straight Catholic girl, and Sandy wanted none of that. I don't blame her. Yeah, and it was Get away from me, bitch. a lot of drama happened. A lot of drama. John Denver died. I don't know if I've ever really dealt with that because I've never cried or anything. And John Denver was like a major part of my life. I never got to see him in, in person. Is Matt Davis still alive? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Um, when I was in Mineral Wells in the 70s, I almost got to go see John Denver in Dallas. Almost. But that was the 70s. You asked about the 90s. Oh, my gosh. How many apartments did I live in? Um, I had a roommate. The only time I ever had a roommate. 
and I don't consider my wife as a roommate. This is where, you know, your wife isn't your roommate, is but isn't your roommate. I don't know how to say that. But, um. Our cats are our roommates. Yeah. Um. Hey, they're pretty good roommates, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't make too bad of us. But, um. They know their places. I had a roommate, and, um. Looking back on it, he was really weird. Uh, he was one of those headbangers, you know. He liked the. Oh God. Yeah, and. Where the hell do guys like heavy metal? Like, I know. They like heavy metal, or they like nothing. And country, or nothing. I went like, to uh, a place called Sneakers. It was a club, and you know they had live music, and and he gets up at the very front, and does this stuff up near the stage. Oh God. Yeah, I'm like, oh God. I bet he spelled it in his neck the next day. <laughs> Probably so. Oh my neck! God and he damn. and he moved his girlfriend in. Now I th I think you know I'm thinking well his girlfriend's just going to be here for a few days, right? Hey Maggie. Oh shit! Moved in, took over, huh? Well, she was a drug dealer. Oh god. So we had problems. Yeah, we had some weird people coming over, and I just thought she was you know using pot. You know, I mean that's all I thought. It turns out she was doing some other stuff. I don't know what it was. I didn't want to know. But uh, we had our front door bashed in by the police. And the apartment complex asked us to move out. But anyway. So that was the 90s. Um, I went to a place called, well, I went to Easter Seals. No, Maggie, I don't want you to get up there, baby. Was it like a mental health thing? Or? It was a, a job training program. Oh, yeah, like for, um, people weren't quite right to help them get yeah. job training. Yeah, and uh, that's where I met Bonnie, the lesbian. And um, she's one of the people I actually sent a letter to saying F you. Um but um let's see that last woman you were talking to was threatening to come get you i'm like yeah right bitch Who? when i met started talking to you there was that one she lives in georgia oh, or something. Yeah. i'm like yeah you come and get try to come and get him bitch i'm gonna whip your ass <laughs> Maggie, don't be getting growly. I don't want you up there because I can't see the monitor, baby. So, um, anyway, oh gosh, um, I don't know how many different apartments I lived in. I went on the Jerry Springer show. Never do that again. Wow. You didn't like Chicago either. <laughs> no, actually, Chicago was. Did you get to go to any of the places, like the stores or anything, like on Michigan Avenue? Yeah, I went to uh, the... We went, when Mike and I were up there, and we went to the Olivia and John's Koala Blue. Oh. I was, I think it was in the building that um, Saks Fifth Avenue was in. Like, oh. Yeah, Olivia and John used to have department stores, Koala Blue, and stores. Not department stores, just stores. Oh. Um, I went to the ESPN store. <laughs> they they kind of took you know they were trying to keep us busy because you know the yeah. the um, Jerry Springer show gets some really funky people, and you know so they try to do things to keep them busy so they don't get in trouble, and um, they used to because um, they'll pick you up in a limo, and they used to have I was told they used to have alcohol in the limo, but what would happen is people would get completely Plastered. Plastered, yeah. So they stopped doing that. And, Did they pick um, you up in a limo? Yeah, they picked us up in a limo. But then they take you back to the airport in a taxi. Oh, God. Yeah. It's like they treat you real good when you first get there, but after you've done the show, it's like oh, I hate that they want to get rid of you. It always winds up in a fist fight. Yeah. Well, they weren't allow, allowing... They weren't allowing fighting when I was there that for like one season they uh, stopped that, but then they realized, you know, that's how they get the ratings. They lost the ratings. Yeah. 
But um. And why is always a bunch of fat black ones when they get into the fight? <laughs> That's what you like. And and okay. I did the walk around with Steve, so you know that was that was me. Um, Josh. Um, uh, let's see. What else can I tell you about the nineties, man? Um. I mean, I, I I was going to college part of the time, not the whole 90s. But, you know. I, I studied history. Um, I couldn't get past the damn algebra and the English, the, English, the composition. Yeah, yes. So, um... I get my nouns and my verbs and my adverbs all oh. mixed up. You could take remedial. I tried. Well, that class that I was going to have to take was a three-hour-long class. From oh. 7 to 10 at night. Um. And I had to walk across the damn campus parking lot. And... But anyway, so that's... Scared the you-know-what out of me. Yeah, I don't blame you. I should have made Mike loan me Prince. And <laughs> let me take him, let, take him to the classroom with me. Yeah. Yeah, there Somebody was... would have attacked me. He would have ripped their leg open, probably. There was a, a a rate on the campus at SAC, and I don't know how they did it because right there on San Pedro Avenue, which is like one of the busiest streets in San Antonio, and this person grabs this, this young lady, it's right there in the parking lot. I'm like, it, but, it, you know, frankly, it doesn't surprise me that the campus cops didn't see it because all the campus cops are there to do is to give out tickets. One night, Mike had an evening class, and I guess there was something. He was out in the evening. He had two dykes chasing him. <laughs> oh. Fortunately, he could run fast enough then to get away from them and get into a building. Oh. And call campus police. Oh. Yeah. They're going to beat him up? Yeah. Did he say why? Because he was a man. Oh. He just hated men. Yeah. Um, there were, I, I went to, I hung out at the Methodist Student Center. And right there where the Methodist Student Center is on Belknap. And I don't know what the other street is. And there's this campus cop sitting there. And somebody's getting their car broken into. He's not doing anything. Yeah, he's not doing anything about it. And somebody says something to him. He says it's off campus. Oh, I'm like, fuck you. yeah, he wouldn't do anything because it was off campus, even though there's a crime being committed. It's like, look, asshole. If it was yeah. his car, he'd be doing something. Oh yeah. He'd be bashing somebody's head in. Yeah. Um, I went to uh, First Friday, which was actually enjoyable back then. First Friday, the first Friday of every month on South St. Mary's, um, all the restaurants and bars and coffee houses and art studios, and they all open up, and there's uh, street performers and live entertainment, and, you know, it was pretty fun, And but then as the years passed on, more and more people started going, and it became a big drunk thing, and I'm like, I used to, there was this one coffee house. I used to like to sit there, have my tea. And you don't drink coffee, but you're in a coffee house. Well, I had the tea. Well, you know what I mean. Though. Yeah, and and there you there was a tea house. Yeah, a tea room. They would have this band, you know, they'd have a band playing, and but there weren't a huge number of people back then. Now it's just. Mob. It's mob. It's like I I don't enjoy being around a lot of people, so it was like, what's the point in going anymore? Um, and I didn't go to the bars to drink because I wasn't there to drink. I was there to listen to the music and look at the art. And, you might have a beer or two. Well, but yeah, but I mean, but you weren't plastered. Yeah, and um. 
Gosh, like I said, I lived in a lot of different places. I lived over by SAC, which is San Antonio College. I lived over by the medical center. I lived over by, uh, it was across the street from an elementary school and a middle school in different directions. Um, that was actually one of the better apartments I lived in. Small. It was a studio, but it was a better complex. It was a really small complex. But, um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what else I can tell you. If you have any specific questions or anything, let me know.